Uh, yeah, Ant-Man, it was pretty good. It was good. It was a solid movie. Not great, but good. Alright, well, that was a good review. Uh, see, see you guys later. See you in the next life. See you in the quantum realm, bitch. Ha ha ha, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, but seriously, uh, Ant-Man was solid. It was, um, it was kind of weird watching this after Infinity War. But, like, it never really bothered me. Like, I, I thought I was going to walk into Ant-Man and be like, Oh, I don't care about Ant-Man after watching Infinity War. Ugh. But, uh, no, like, it was... It's pretty much just like the first one. It's just a fun little movie. It's kind of a heist movie. Sort of. It's just heist elements in it. Um, yeah, it was. it's pretty much just like the first one. And, I, like, I, I will also... I'll say this about it. Like, everybody, everybody thought... Uh, Peyton Reed, he can't direct a movie, but it was all Edgar Wright, but all the good parts of Ant-Man is about Edgar Wright, Edgar Wright's amazing, da 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 Nah, like, this is just as good as that first Ant-Man movie, and Peyton Reed did a really solid job. Uh, it's like, it's really funny, just like the first one, um, I would say, I, you know, I will, I'll say this, I'll say less of the jokes here land than the first one. And there's certain like things about it. I, I'm not gonna do a spoiler. I'm not gonna do go into spoilers in this video. But there are like some certain sort of tropes, I guess, that the first one did that I don't think not not tropes, but just things in this film uh, that they they sort of try to do again that the first one did. And I don't think it's quite as done as done well in this one. I don't know how to speak English, but uh, overall, like they're 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 around the same. And uh, uh, comedy wise, uh, the action was kind of a letdown. I feel where like I don't know. I guess I kind of want them to <clears throat> to go like really over the top and crazy. Like there was there was nothing in here I thought like as good as um like the the fight where in the first one where Ant Man is fighting a uh, bad Ant Man where they're like they're fighting in the in the on the train set. Like, I, I thought that was really cool and creative. I didn't think there was anything like that here. There's a car chase scene. There's a car chase that's pretty cool. And uh, there, there's an in, there's some interesting bits in that. But I don't know. I feel like for the sequel, I just really want them to go out and do something different and really creative. And I don't know. I feel like they kind of dropped the ball in, in that aspect. It wasn't bad. Uh, it was cool with uh, seeing Ant-Man and the Wasp fight. Uh, like uh, Evangeline Lilly's character, uh, like she's obviously like way more capable than uh, Scott Pym and Scott Pym and Scott Pym and Scott Pym, and it's it's like it's it's cool seeing her action scenes because she's like like actually uh, trained and stuff. But uh, and you know seeing them fight together is cool. Uh, but I don't know. I I guess I wanted more like creative shrinking and unshrinking stuff. Like you do get that, but I kind of wanted them to go a little bit farther with that. Um, I like I like how this movie is, uh, much like the first one, it's very small scale. Like, they're not saving the universe. They're not even, like, I'd say it might be even more of a smaller scale than the first one. Because at least in the first one, they were, like, taking over, like, you know, trying to stop this bad guy's evil plan. Where, blah, I gotta blow up my building or whatever. Uh, like, and this one is very small scale, it's personal, it's actually quite personal, and I like that about it. It's like the complete contrast to, uh, to Infinity War, and uh, yeah, I like that about it, because it the, the movie has a lot of heart to it. With it being so personal, there's a lot of heart to this movie. I, uh, you know, I cared about, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just say it, because they, they pretty much reveal sort of what the movie is going to end up being in the, in the trailers, and I'm pretty sure, uh, Michelle Pfeiffer's in the fucking posters and shit, but yeah, so like in the movie uh, They find out that there's a possibility that they can uh, save uh, Hank Pym's wife and That's their mission and you really do get invested in it So uh, yeah, like the the movie has a lot of heart to it and I care about the characters and stuff uh, The villain is all right um, I feel like uh, I was kind of disappointed that it was just an alright villain because I feel like with Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, Black Panther, and Infinity War, like we had, we just had the Marvel just started giving us these uh, just fantastic villains, but uh, with this one, the the villain, it, uh, it's it's alright. Uh, the villain's alright. 
you do get to see her backstory and you realize why she, uh, he or she's doing what he or she is doing. You don't know the gender of the villain. Uh, blood. Uh, but no, yeah, like, uh, you, you find out their motivations and the backstories and you, you feel for them. But not quite as compelling as any of the previous, the villains in the previous movies that I've mentioned. Uh, but yeah, there's not really much to talk about when it comes to this movie. Like, it's good. It's perfectly fine, and it's solid. So yeah, like, if you're into the Marvel movies, go and watch it. If you're not into Marvel movies, then you're not into Marvel movies. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, and, uh, the post credit scenes are really, really good. Um, it's like, like, uh... I don't want to say anything about it because I don't want to spoil it, but they're incredible. Uh, maybe some of the best that we've seen in the MCU. So, uh, yeah, that's what I will say about that. So, yeah, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, subscribe. If you didn't like it, tell me why, and I'll definitely take your criticisms into account. Uh, I will not ignore them. I will absolutely put them into my heart, and I will do... Whatever I can to please you commenter. So, uh, yes, this is definitely the end of the video. Uh, goodbye, sayonara, farewell. I, I hope uh, your mother dies in a car crash. Horrible car crash that leaves her uh, seriously injured. Not even death, because honestly, death is is just too good of a, of a fate. I, I hope she suffers in immensely. For a long period of time, I should probably cut this out because I don't I don't even know why why I'm saying what I'm saying. But um, yeah, you you can probably tell that these videos aren't scripted. Uh...